Hi everyone, this is Hibba from my little journal and today I'm going to do a really quick uh, share of the new Studio Calico documenter kit. I had to do a little unboxing for you guys because I am totally in love with this kit. So this is the March kit and it's beautiful. I can't explain to you how much I love this kit. Um, the colors, the stamp set, everything in this little bag is adorable. So you get some washi tape, which is gorgeous. It's like a little rainbow striped washi. The stamp is so cute. I'm loving that lemon. Can't wait to use it. You get some vellum numbers. These are so cute. They're just like different colors, large vellum numbers that you can use in your um, project life spreads or even on a traveler's notebook layout and these vellum numbers also come with your traveler's notebook kit so that's perfect so you get like extras and there's doubles in there so i am loving that you get these really cute chipboards some alphas with numbers i believe i'm not sure let me check real quick I'm sure you get two of each, but there's such a pretty like orange coral. Yeah, you get some numbers in there, which are perfect. These really cute little arrows. I love these arrows. They've been adding these a lot in their documenter and traveler's notebook. You get the March uh, transparency four by six, and this time it's in like this beautiful blue that matches the gorgeous cards. I have to show you these beautiful cards. Let me just move these aside. I think I am in love with everything about these cards. Look how pretty the colors are. And the icons and the illustration is just so cute. I love this easy peasy lemon squeezy. Super duper. I mean, it's going to be really hard to choose which side of these cards I want to use. They're just all so gorgeous. And you guys know I love Studio Calico. I've been a subscriber for a very long time with Studio Calico, but I'm telling you every month their kits get better and better. Every year, every month, I'm just totally in love. And I'm, I love the springtime. It's so adorable. Look at that floral on the back. Ugh. That's what I'm telling you. I do not know what I'm going to end up using with that lemon, the sunshine, so bright, so beautiful, those rainbows, which by the way, you can stamp that rainbow yourself because it's a part of the stamp, which is pretty awesome. More lemons. That color combo is just gorgeous. And as you can see, these cards are just to die for, and I can't wait to share with you my spread today using this kit. Um, I think I'm going to finish this kit pretty quickly because I'm just loving every single card in here and it's gonna be really, really hard to choose. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing, this quick unboxing, because I just really wanna get into my spread because I'm excited. So keep watching if you wanna see my process video for week five. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my project life. This is week five, 2019. And I'm going to go ahead and add my photos. Now I do have an extra photo and that one's going to end up being like a flip pocket. Um, I'm out of flip pockets, but I'm going to share with you how you can add kind of like a flip pocket without a flip pocket, if that makes sense. But we'll talk about that when we get there. But for now, I'm going through my cards. I'm going to try to make up my mind. I love them all. And I kind of struggle trying to figure out which one is going to make it. But I do end up making up my mind. I just add a few uh, in like a certain spot and then decide once I start working on that pocket, which one's going to make it. But anyways, I'm going to start working on my title card. I'm going to use those beautiful vellum numbers and the five matched perfectly with my title. So I'm going for it. And by the way, like I said earlier, when I did the unboxing, you get doubles. So there was another five, but this one matched with my four by six card. So I'm going for it. Just trying to find a three by four card to back it up with. I'll grab my stapler and staple it down and call my title card done. 
I'm not going to be adding anything else to it because I really like how that one looks. Now I snapped a photo of the gorgeous sky right before a major storm. It was gorgeous, you guys. You can see in the photo, I didn't do any kind of filtering to this photo. It really literally looked like that. But anyways, I liked this Unforgettable um, on my 3x4 card, so I trimmed it out. I'm going to use it as an embellishment. I will also add one of those chipboards right above it and call it done. I don't mind trimming down my cards, and you're going to see in the next 3x4 card, I'm actually going to use the back side of the trimmed 3x4 card that I just trimmed out. So I don't waste anything, and I get to use as many cards as I can on one spread. Now I'm going to end up stamping that rainbow stamp from the stamp set um, right above my journaling on this where I stand photo. I just took a picture of the puddle of water because like I said, it's been raining nonstop here in Georgia. So I had that where I stand kind of to represent all the rain we've gotten throughout the week. And this is where I'm using the backside of that trimmed 3x4 card. It had amazing on there. So all I'm going to do is trim it down a little bit and add it as a little um, title card for my rainbow card. And it looks great. I was able to use it and not waste that trimmed out 3x4 card. I really like how that one looks. I'm also going to grab the same chipboard uh, circles and I will stamp yay right in the center of one of them using the stamp set. This way I bring in more of the kind of similar chipboards from the kit and uh, it kind of makes the layout flow better once you kind of repeat a few of your embellishments. But I really like how this looks. I'm just going to end up adding it right above my amazing. And then I'm going to grab that 3x4 photo of myself and I will be using those little flag stickers and just adding a few of them to my photo just to bring in some more color even though the spread is so colorful but because I'm loving the kit so much I just end up adding or using a lot of the stickers and the embellishments that came in the kit. Moving on to this next 4x6 pocket, I had two photos and a card. And like I said earlier, I will end up creating a little flip pocket for it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and stamp out this pattern that has a bunch of plus signs. I will stamp it on the super duper card. I'll also grab the same circle chipboards and add one to my super duper card just to make everything look nice and flowy, I guess, or make everything flow. I am documenting this photo of my daughter. She um, was on the all A's honors list and I just took a photo of her holding up her certificate. So I'm going to stamp the speech bubble that came with the stamp set. I'll also stamp, I think, hooray or something like that in the center and add that to the three by four photo of her holding up her certificate. Now once I get everything stuck down and ready, I'm going to start working on my flip pocket. Now because I'm out of my Simple Stories little plastic flip pockets, I'm going to create my own. I'm using the washi tape that came in the kit to stick down my card and my photo. I'm also going to decorate the back side of my card just because, like I said, it's a flip pocket so you're going to see the back side. I'm going to end up stamping the same plus sign stamp. Uh, randomly on my card and then I'm going to grab the alpha stickers and add you and me just to kind of match the photo of my daughter and I and I'm going to put it aside and come back to it later to show you guys how to create a flip pocket without the plastic simple stories pockets if that makes sense so 
I'm going to go ahead and stick down my alphas and call that one done and work on a few more cards on my spread. I'm going through my cards because I thought I could trim one of the cards and use it as an embellishment for this four by six photo of my kids and I. I really like this card that says good stuff. It was kind of a square. It fit perfectly in that corner. So I went ahead and trimmed it down. I'm also going to grab my stamp set. In the stamp set, there's this little teeny tiny lemon. It's adorable. And there's a little pattern of little dots about six or seven dots, so cute. So I stamped out the dots, I stamped out my lemon with some yellow ink, and it looks so cute. Such an adorable stamp set. This is one of my favorite stamp sets from all Studio Calico kits. It's just the cutest thing ever. Anyways, I'm done with my little embellishment. I was able to use a card, my stamp set, and not have to go rummaging through my own embellishments. I wanted to add a little something to my title card. So what I decided to do is use that beautiful stamp set because like I said, it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna stamp a bunch of these little words that come in the stamp set or with the stamp set. Things like yes and yep and yay and things like that. I'll just stamp them around my lemon. Really cute, I love it. I also stamped the polka dots on each side of my lemon. But to share with you how to create a pocket without having your little plastic uh, flip pockets from Simple Stories, I'm going to grab my We Are Memory Keepers cutting mat. I'm going to grab my knife and literally just cut through my pocket. And I'm just following the lines um, from the 3x4 pocket above it. I'll slide my photo through it and I got myself a flip pocket without purchasing the Simple Stories plastic flip pockets, if that makes sense. But I believe I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.